Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Mets versus Orioles Major League Baseball matchup on Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. You just go to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. I've also got a link directly below this video in the description. If you make bigger bets, $1,000 or more per game, $10,000 plus bankrolls, we have VIP services for you as well. For those, you got to text the number you see on the screen. Not single game packages or single day packages or long-term packages. But like I said, between our regular their premium, our VIP, and all the free picks. Something for everyone at Pick Dogs. But let's get to it. We've got the Mets taking on the Orioles. Two teams battling it out in playoff battles of their own. The Orioles battling it out atop the American League East. Probably in pretty good shape as far as a wild card berth goes. Meanwhile, the Mets battling it out with the Braves, the Padres, and the Diamondbacks for the National League wild card. They are on the outside looking in and are going to need some help and are going to need to help themselves. Jose Quintana gets the ball here for the Mets up against Dean Kramer for the Orioles. And Quintana has been pretty decent this season. I think you got to give this guy a little bit of credit. He's been a journeyman for, um, you know, the few last few years of his career traded from, you know, to uh, contenders and, you know, trying to contribute in that way. But what we've seen from him this year is he's actually been a viable part of the Mets rotation and probably part of the reason why they are contending. But the problem now is, is that he's lost his last two starts and been hit very hard in those games, allowing four runs last time out against the A's and five in the game prior against the light-hitting Seattle Mariners. He did go six and two-thirds in that game, but like I said, he got hit. And now the numbers are starting to rack up. He's allowed 20 home runs. He has struck out 103, but he's got 50 walks as well. Over 128 innings of work. He's got a 4.26 ERA on the season. Over his last three starts, it's ballooned to a 6.89. Dean Kramer on the mound for the Orioles. Not a guy that I have ever really had a lot of faith in. And, you know, we see him get hit um, pretty good a lot. But then sometimes he does come out and throw those gems like he did last time out. One run allowed against the Washington Nationals over six innings of work. But prior to that, he had lost his last four starts giving up five runs, four runs, just a run, and three runs. So the Orioles had lost those games. And, uh, you know, it wasn't all Kramer's fault. But really, if you go back to his last six or seven starts, it's been pretty brutal. He's got a 4.48 ERA on the season. He's allowed 15 home runs, 38 walks, and struck out 84 batters over 90 innings of work. You know, Kramer just not really a frontline starter in a 5.87 ERA over his last three starts. Just makes me doubt as to, you know, how the Orioles believe that he is a viable part of a starting rotation for a team that's trying to contend for a postseason spot. And really, you know, the expectations on a team like the Orioles is that they're going to be even better than that this year and contend to win the whole thing. Personally, I don't share the vision. The Orioles are just 3-9 and nine in their last 12 in New York against the Mets, so they haven't had a lot of success there. When we look at the way they're hitting lefties over their last 10 games, it is at 283, while the Mets are hitting 250 versus righties. But the Orioles' bullpen has been deplorable. 5.87 ERA over their last 10, st- over their last 10 games. And the thing is, They even got a couple nice breaks in that Sunday game against the Boston Red Sox, where the Red Sox really had some chances laid on them and were unable to convert, um, you know, a little pop-out with the bases loaded, you know, a pop-out to the catcher in foul territory. Boy, that was a a lucky break they caught there. Meanwhile, the Mets' bullpen, not much better, 4.76 ERA over their last 10. I just think what we have here is a a guy who has shown throughout his career an ability to get it done. And while Quintana's been getting hit lately, I don't see him getting hit as hard as Kramer, who just seems to make far too many mistakes for my liking. I'm going to take the Mets, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.